Kristen Vicky here with you and today we're here for day 19 of 30 inks 30 days so yesterday we had this yellow which was uh, diamond little Lou um, it's very pretty it's growing on me um, I have to say it's dark enough to be able to read it so it is very pretty so if if I decide to get a yellow ink um, that could be one of the contenders because it's almost orangey um, so yeah, reminds me of fall though. So today we have a black and it's um, the Diamine Onyx Black and I keep saying Diamine or Diamine. <laughs> oh man, it's hard to decide which one is the right one. Um, so I'm using my Kueco All Sports and this is the um, All Black and it's a broad nib and um, this pen here is, is um, one of the pens that I got in Europe because the ones over here were all sold out so it's a special pen that's all black and it's matte um, and, and a matte all black um, so I saw it being called Midnight Edition I don't know what's the difference um, but it has like I said it has all the black trim and everything and it is a matte finish um, versus shiny and uh, I was really happy to find uh, this little pen when I searched for my for the green I sport I found this one so got it at the same time and because uh, I'd looked at it at um, Yoseka stationery and uh, they had it but then um okay that's gonna be enough anyway i don't use black inks all that much except to write um the labels of envelopes and i can't do that with this because it's it's a water soluble ink so if it rains <laughs> the address would just um run and that would not be cool I'm very curious to see what the uh, chromography is going to show because the last time we did a black it was pretty amazing uh, the chromatography where is it it's uh, this one it was really really stunning so I'm curious to see what this one is going to look like so we're just going to start this off Put this in the water close this off so that it doesn't dry out because otherwise a nib dry out and uh, makes it difficult to write after and will give you uh, starting issues with your pen okay so like I said I'm not a huge fan of black inks you need them I have enough uh, but this came with the set and it feels like everybody has to have black ink like somehow a lot of black but okay that should be sufficient it's pretty much that's a big amount of splotches and then do this and more here and just finish off by wiping it clean here we go Okay, so we'll do the. I managed to get some black on me. I was doing pretty good the other days. Um, but yeah. So here we go. Pretty wet. As you, as I said, it's a broad nib. So obviously, um, that is. That will. Be more wet than if it was uh, some other type of ink 
Okay, so I had not changed my page for Dr. Seuss. And we're at the letter S. Okay, so today we're using I mean Onyx Black we're June 19, 2021. And I'm using my Coleco L Sport. It squeaks. This is the nib. I don't understand why it's squeaking. Okay, so we're doing the big S. Oops, I did two big S basically. It's giving me shivers because of the the uh, squeaking. So, it's pretty black, but I mean, it's black. <laughs> uh, what is there to say other than it's black? Um, right now, versus the other one. Of course, this one was a fine nib versus this. This seems, I don't know, more dark. But then when I look at this, it's not. so. I wonder if it's because it's still very wet. It could be. Could also be the type of pen uh, because this is a broad nib versus uh, the other nib. And I've pulled out the blacks, all my blacks basically, um, to do the comparison. But let's start off by checking out the chromatography. I'm curious to see. I don't want it to. So this is the chromatography and again it's it's like very it's it's not even which is very strange and even has a little bit of a pinkish tone to it it's very strange chromatography versus this one which was much more even so the other one like there's a big V so I don't know what happened there. Like it's really, really strange how it just, yeah, strange ink. So this is the Onyx Black. This is the Ultra Black that we played with, uh, the Private Reserve one. And then this one I pulled out, but I mean, it's not the same. It's the um, shiny black glistening from Colorverse. And I got this one because of Manda. Because check out the... Oh, if you're going to have a black, if you're going to be a black, be a shiny, nice black like that. Um, then there's a mystery black from Mont Blanc, which doesn't look black at all. looks like green. I still have to put that in a pen and see if it's that green. Then there's uh, Pilot Irosuzuku Te Teku Sami, which is Sumi, which is uh, feels more gray. Then there's a cross black. These feel like more brown to me. This is Pelican black. Then Platinum Carbon black, which is 
much more black. This really feels like there's a lot of brown in there. Then this is the Heart of Darkness from Noodlers. And finally the Bulletproof, uh, the Black Bulletproof from Noodlers. So probably the closest would be this one to, to this. Because the other ones don't have as much brown. Maybe a bit, but not as much. It does it's like it has a kind of brown purplish color to it. I don't know how to explain it. So that's the splotches. So hope you've uh, you've liked this black. Like I said, the chromatography is the part that really gets to me and that I really love. It's just really really neat. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for the twentieth. So, and that's it. Bye!